Posey Gloves here, and this is another video in the Armor from the Ground Up tutorial series. Today we're going to talk about the rest of stuff to do with envelopes. Uh, first, I was, so we're going to just cover the options down here. This little button, this triangle right here gives you a bunch of options. Uh, and we're just going to cover the things that I tend to use. There are some things like insert points at markers. Um, not 100% sure how to do. So first we're going to turn our envelope on, and we're going to discuss what this knob over here does. So if we play our envelope, so I just made it so it has an instant 100% on attack. You can see it's very loud. And let's say, oh man, I want it to be smoother. Well, this is saying interpret the envelope immediately as the value could give you. If we turn it over, it will smooth it over. Okay, uh, not in that case. It will change the speed of the playback and the volume levels it interprets during that playback. So that maybe wasn't the best example. So let's, uh, let's do this versus this. You see, it takes our first value and it just pushes it over. So this can be useful for, it's called their articulation. It affects, it says it affects its articulation because it's the starting attack point of your note. And in long tones, it tends to just bleed over. But I just thought that that was something that we should, uh, that I should tell you. And then if we come down here, we have all these options. So you can actually, so real quick, samples actually have their own, um, their own envelope. And now that you know what envelopes are, if we were to like look at our basic kick drum sample, we see that we have an envelope. And Evo Studios actually analyzes this file and says, oh, here's the attack, decay, sustain, release. It says that it, it will analyze it and take it in. So Harmer can actually, you can drop files onto the, um, onto the articulation volume or whatever it is and it will actually derive an envelope from that so that's pretty cool but you can also after you've made your great arpeggiator or whatever you can save your file you can also copy your file to your clipboard and post it somewhere or you can copy it to part b so that part b matches what you're doing without ever having to like actually go over to part b and paste uh paste it yeah paste it um post it paste it we have undo, so that's also what this guy here is. We can undo our last change, and we can go to our history and see everything we did and undo those things. Now, the reason this is here is this only applies for this envelope, and if you hit Control z you'll be doing global changes to FL. Uh, undo is kind of weird when you get into programs with multiple, you know, like plugins are basically tiny programs running in programs. So it's important to know that. We have a, a make all loop. This will make our entire section loop it just made it all an entire loop and we can undo that uh, we also have insert points and markers oh well it turned on let's turn that on and nothing so uh, yeah don't know what that does interesting we could flip things vertically so we could flip it up and down we could scale levels and if we move things well actually technically yeah we'll see what's going on and so you can multiply. This is like kind of like basic DSP right here when you're taking, except for without the audio portion. Okay, anyways, you can offset it, flatten it out. That's kind of interesting. And you cannot automate these things. You have tension, which adjusts the slope. So it's changing these slopes right here. That's what's changing with tension. Change the center. Really interesting. We just reset and hit accept. So that's an option you have there. Uh, you may at times want a bunch of points. Like you may have a shape that's got, oh, I guess we'll talk about that when we get there. We have scale levels. Normalized levels will take, if you have like a bunch of things, let's say like they look like this. And then you've, you've got this. And you want to normalize it. Well, it's the same thing as it does with audio. It'll take those points, analyze them, and blow them all up proportionally. So the highest point will be, the maximum value will be pushed to the max and all the other points will be pushed and pulled accordingly. So if we hit normalize, you can see it just did that for us. Now we have scale level. Oh, we already talked about that. We have decimate points. So this is a thing. So let's say we've got a whole bunch of points and it's really important that we have all these points in there. We can go to decimate points and this will thin out our points for us. So as we turn it down, well, there's not enough points here uh, for us to do this. So let's get rid of this and 
do something that takes just a crap ton of points like that. And now, oh no, we don't want that. So we're going to decimate points. And as we, our threshold, when it's all the way down, we'll leave all our control points. But that's too many points. Um, we don't want that many points. Be a pain to edit, uh, especially if we plan to use the grid. So we're going to turn up the threshold and it will slowly decimate our points until we're left with the amount of control. But you can see we lose resolution. So you might want to find a happy medium, maybe not. Maybe just use the curves instead of doing something like this, but I don't know. So we're gonna hit reset or whatever, and uh, we'll accept it. We'll just go to our undo history and go back to a more regular looking envelope. There we go. Okay, so we have filter. This applies a filter, and you see it just added a bunch of points. And this also lets us further shape. So you know how we have filters for audio? This is essentially a filter for a shape. And we can uh, do our shape. We have the decimate here again. So without decimation, we have this ridiculously, this like a stupid amount of control points. With it, we get a very not so great shape. Uh, and we also have an impulse, so we can shape move this we can shape how it interprets very interesting just more shaping tools uh, and now we have all these extra points woohoo uh, filter smooth up so if we have any sudden changes smoothing smoothing up smooth up abrupt changes these are both just used to smooth out things like it's pretty self-explanatory you open them up and they give you little additional menus to alter things you go down to uh, Turn all points smooth. It'll turn them all into curves. So if you add anything that wasn't a curve, it's curved now. You have the analyze audio file. You can do the same thing just by drag and drop, I believe. Let's uh, let's find out. Let's go to uh, the 808 clip. Why not get, get a conga? Over there. Drag it on there, and that is the shape of that conga, the volume pattern. Um, but this could be dropped on like a filter frequency or whatever, and it would do the same thing. Uh, we also have create a sequence. So we can create a sequence, bang, as you see, and this pop pops up. This is what I was talking about. This may be useful for you. Um, we can change the way our sequence is interpreted. So right now, if I play some notes, we can get rid of one and make it uh, long. And you see it gets reflected down here, and we can change the attack level. And the decay slope, sustain level, release slope, and you can just, man, this is intense. And uh, let's do this. You see we're changing stuff. So you can create a really uh, interesting thing. You have global controls here for every all the points at every repeating value, wherever this up thing is. So I was talking about using these earlier. Um, but that is an, some options you have. So we have swing, time, multiply, so we can change the 16th notes, 8th notes, or whatever. Let me reset that. Hit Alt and click to do that. Oh man, make it a bit faster. So and you can also just randomize the crap out of it. So we could hit accept and then we could say, oh, we want, whoops, we don't want that. We want this note right here. If I can select it, you have to have your pencil tool off to do this. You could say, hey, play the previous note instead. And we could do that. We could say, play the uh, same note. And the same. And so I, I, uh, I think it's still changing, but that's because we also have these. This is something I, this is just a feature I don't use that often. Um, but this may or may not be of interest to you. And you can further figure out w what the whole deal is with this jazz going on in here. But that is envelopes pretty darn in depth. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy these videos. And have a blessed day.